Hello friends, in our previous lesson we learnt about center of curvature, principal axis, focal point. Now let's see how these elements can help us to understand how a spherical mirror works. First let's take a concave mirror. You can use a shiny steel spoon. Its concave surface acts as a concave mirror. Now there is an object AB on the principal axis between C and F. We follow two light rays coming from point A on object AB, AM and AN. Light ray AM is parallel to principal axis so after reflection it would pass through focal point. Because the ray is parallel to principal axis it passes through focal point after reflection. These small things are actually very important to remember. The light ray AN is moving in direction of C, the center of curvature. It is actually perpendicular to the mirror. We have learnt in geometry that radius CN is perpendicular to tangent at N. Now as angle of incidence is 90 degrees, the angle of reflection would be 90 degrees too. Means the light ray will reflect back on the same straight path. So AN and CN will be on the straight line. Both rays meet at A dash point. Rays actually converge means A dash B dash is real image of AB. As we already know, real image is upside down, that is inverted. That's why we see inverted image on the inner side of the spoon. Now we take a convex mirror. We will again take the same object AB. We again follow two rays coming from point A. Let's see what happens this time. AM ray which is parallel to principal axis will reflect in such a way that, would, that it would appear to be coming from focal point. We know that focal point of a convex mirror is a virtual point. So ray wouldn't pass through F, it would appear as if it was coming from that virtual point F. And another ray from A lands on point N on mirror. This ray is moving in the direction towards C. So it is actually perpendicular to mirror at point N. Because radius of curvature is perpendicular to tangent drawn on point N means angle of incidence is 90 degrees. So angle of reflection would be 90 degrees too. Means it will get reflected along AN. So AN and CN will be on the same straight line. So if we extend the reflected ray backwards, it they would meet at virtual point A dash. It's an image of the point. So A dash B dash is the virtual image of AB. It is upright and smaller than the real object AB. So it's a diminished image. Concave mirror generally creates uh, inverted real image unless the object is very close to mirror that is before the focal point. In that case only concave mirror creates enlarged upright and a virtual image. See the object is so close that the rays don't get the opportunity to converge at a point. And convex mirror always produces virtual image means rays don't converge that is they don't meet at a point after reflection they diverge. So we never get a real image. We always get a virtual image in case of a convex mirror. That's all for now. Bye-bye.